I did everything wrong here. Wow. I haven't got a rush. You have made it.
Ah, oh, beg your pardon. Mm, I'm waiting. Mm. Oh, we thought it was one hour before. You must have been waiting while I was doing that other list. Got the time wrong. I wonder what Mark is doing. Are you coming for tea Wednesday? Oh, next, you go next Wednesday, do you? It's all a bit up in the air. Oh, I think next week you've got to go. Uh, hello, how are you tonight, today? I set up a lesson on Google Hangout if you want to do that there. Open it, okay, yeah. So did you think it was one hour before the lesson? But 2 p.m. your time. But sometimes, did italki tell you that it was 1 p.m.? Because sometimes they they have the wrong time. You can, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, you were outside or out of the home. You were outside and I checked the time in Jeddah now and it said it's two o'clock in Jeddah. And 9 p.m. in Australia. In Sydney, yeah, I had another lesson just now with a student from Thailand. So I had a lesson with a student from Thailand. So 
it's difficult for me to do, yeah, impossible to do two lessons at the same time. But sometimes I talk, they have two lessons at the same time by mistake. Usually if there's a change in the time, so Australia, we changed the clock. Uh, the clock went back one hour a few weeks ago. But, yeah, I'm not sure if that's what happened or not, but possibly, yeah, or although maybe, maybe there was another mistake. But in any case, I have the Google Hangout uh, happening, Google Hangout online. Ah, so you, you want me, yeah, sorry, I, did I send it to you, the... Oh, you, you did, okay. Yeah. No, it's good. Nah, I can hear you talking now. So it's better than Skype, I think. Yes, uh, of course. Of course, yeah. Uh, but you don't have a camera, so... Uh, of course, uh, I have a camera in my phone, but... Uh... In the BC, I don't have. Okay. Yeah, well, it's better if I look at the, the picture of you rather than me. I, I was like, <laughs> uh, I can look at myself. Okay. But okay. Uh, I mean, uh, now now it's okay because I can see just the, uh, like the circle on the screen. But I think most people don't like it when they have their photo in front of them. My students also, they don't like it when it happens to them. <laughs> because people feel conscious, self-conscious is the word. So they, they feel shy. They look at themselves on the screen. Uh, unless they're a movie star or something, then they like to look at themselves. But in in any case, today uh, it was a makeup lesson for last week. So last Thursday. Okay. 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 Uh, so yeah. So today, um, did you have anything you want to do? Because I gave you that document before about food. So, yeah, do you uh, want to uh, do that, or I uh, continue if you want, or what? You, you want to use that one, okay? So okay. I have it here, and can you see it on your screen? What? Can, can you, you what? see that food document on your screen? On your computer? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you can. Um, um, but uh, in uh, in another uh, device. Oh, another device. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you say another, you roll the R. I notice. What? And in English, we, yeah, we we can't do that. Like I I wish I could, but I don't know. So uh, uh, another, the R is rolled. Uh, some languages they do that, but English, it's yeah, we don't. But yeah, when you say an, another with an R, like rrr sound, yeah, rrr, rrr. in Arabic, do you do that? Yeah, but in English, what you can't or ah uh... uh, no, well we don't and. Uh, I try to do it. Another, yeah. Another, uh -huh. okay. Uh, uh, yeah. But if it's hard to stop I because will, you do. Try. Okay, so, I will yeah, it's hard to start to do it. So I tried to do it for another language. Um, like in, in our Russian, they do, they're like that, but a little bit different. It's hard to in stop. A, uh, in, in Arabic, we have uh, uh, a letter like uh, R. 
Ah, oh, you do. Okay. And it's like a, uh, Arabic. 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 Ar Arabic. Yeah, it sounds different right. from the other ones. So Arabic. maybe it, you may have to say it in a part of your mouth. Uh, but. now, uh, I, uh, the, uh, uh, the letter R, uh, the last I can, now I, I know how to, um, pronounce, pronounce. Yes, but uh, if uh, if the R letter in the uh, in the mid uh, words, how can I pronounce? Uh, in the middle of the word. Yeah. So, like in the middle of my name, Robert. Yeah. So you don't really pronounce it. It's just Robert. 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 You don't have to say the R. Or this word, art, just art. art. You don't have to art. say art. 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 No, no. Art. Just art. art. Yes, yeah, so the, the R isn't art. really pronounced. It's just art. Uh, oh, art. Or heart. heart. It's just heart. Heart. Yeah, but you know American, those words. But an American ac uh, accent, uh, maybe sometimes uh, say R. Ah, oh, really? No, I, I don't. Know. I, I, you mean I they know, but, pronounce but, uh, the R differently? But uh, here uh, we. Uh, I, I'm I'm always uh, here. R R R. Uh. Yeah, but not with the rolling R, like the. It's not in English, but yeah, maybe in America they do pronounce some words differently, like. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but, but I don't think they pronounce the R different, but some other words they pronounce different, like this word, herb, they say herb, herb? without uh, an H, yeah. herb. Uh, H letter, not, uh, uh, he said A. Yeah, they like don't our, say that. Uh, like H our, sound. like our, our. Our, ah, uh, yeah, our, yeah. That, that's another one, yeah. But in Australia, we say our as well, not how. Our. But in America, they have a lot of words like herb. They don't say the H sound. Our. Mm. Yes. So, what kind of English do you want to? S to learn, you want to learn American English, or uh, English English, or maybe it's better a any kind of English. Not uh, yeah. Not, uh, here, uh, here, it's mix uh, mix it uh, the accent. Maybe sometimes uh, you listen, you hear uh, the the Egyptian the uh, the Egyptian. Uh, accent and the Indian accent and uh, from the teachers. Uh, so you have uh, an Indian teacher. Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, I had uh, the the Indian teacher, but uh, and Egyptian teachers as well. Uh, he said, "R, r, 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 r Right, right, right. That's right. Yeah, no, right, 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 right. Hebrew, uh, uh, Hebrew, uh, or pronounced. 
pronounce. Yeah, he pronounced. So I noticed too, you said here it is mixed. So you don't have to roll the R in here either. So there's an R in the word, but it's not pronounced like here. I can't do it. Here, here is, here it is mixed. So it's kind of like here. Uh, there, yeah, I don't know how to write it phonetically, but here it is mixed. And mixed, it's like no E, just mixed. Not mm, mixed, mix it. Mixed. Here it is mixed. Mixed. Mixed, yeah. Yes, so that might be difficult because it's two sounds together, like X and D, with no vowel between. But here it is mixed. So here it is mixed means you don't, yeah, I ask you if you have uh, any kind of accent you want to learn, but uh, you have two accents, Egyptian and Indian, and maybe uh, some other one as well. Many, many accents here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, do you think you have a uh, Saudi <coughs> accent? Uh, uh, Arab accent. Arab. Yeah, there is. Uh, but uh, it's good. It's the better than it's the better than uh, Indian and Egypt. Ah. Okay. Indian or Egyptian. Egyptian accent it's uh, uh it's difficult maybe you uh, okay. if you if you hear hear it yeah yeah well there are many indians in australia and i've met many indians oh. and so i think actually saudi accent sounds a little bit indian for me <laughs> but uh, uh, indians they don't roll the r like that. Yes. And yes. But do you think Indian people are like Middle Eastern people? So the music in India is similar, I think. Might a little bit. No. Uh, yeah, but of course, very different. But they're close together. India is close to Iran and Afghanistan and, and Pakistan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, there was a TV show the other day about people from India and Afghanistan and Pakistan who came to Australia uh, to become camel riders in the desert in Australia. Uh, they rode a camel across the desert to take the goods into the small town in the desert. And so now there are many camels in Australia, in the desert. Here it's, uh, we have uh, a lot. A, a lot of camels, yeah. But the camels in Australia are wild. What? what? So nobody, nobody owns them, they just run free. Yeah, so people don't use camels these days in Australia, but okay. they're a wild camel. But but in the in those days, the Indians and Afghan Afghani people, they the white people didn't like them because they were different. But these days now it's okay because many. People come to Australia from other countries, so now it's okay. But anyway, do you want to go on to that document, the food taste one that I sent you? Okay, okay. Yeah, no. So we didn't do much before, but I think we did sweet and we did sour. We sweet, sour, uh, sour and... Um, salty? Sal salty. Salty, yeah. 
something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I, I was looking online last night at a website called Jeddah Food. Oh. I'm not <laughs> sure if you know this one, but they were talking about a restaurant in Jeddah. Okay. Which has chicken and rice. Yeah, we, uh, maybe chicken and uh, rice or and uh, meat. Uh, That's uh, typical. See, see what. Seafood? Yeah, seafood. Seafood. It's yeah. typical food in Jeddah. Yes. And, and they have... Uh, they have a burger and... Uh, yeah, I saw like that one. Burger. Uh, fast, fast food. And there's an Indian restaurant called Kashmir Garden, I think. Uh, we have we have an uh, Indian restaurant. Okay, yeah. Well, Indian food, it's very spicy. Yeah. <laughs> and Australian food, sometimes a little salty. Oh. Salty and... Uh, yeah, not sour, uh, but salty and... Uh, crispy, maybe, but we can go on to that one. Crispy, we haven't done crispy, but but the yeah, the next one after salty was bitter, and I think we did bitter too because we were talking about coffee. So you said coffee, it's popular in Saudi Arabia. Yes, uh, Arabic coffee, and. and uh, uh, there is a uh, French coffee and uh, Turkish coffee and another one. And do but you drink that every day? Not every day. Maybe five. Uh, mm, Maybe f uh, five times in the week. Okay. Or well, five times a week. Five times a week? A week, okay. yeah. Uh, five okay, times yeah. a week. Uh, but, uh, but tea, maybe every day. The okay, tea. yeah. So the Japanese tea, it's bitter. But here, uh, but here, uh, but here, uh, red, uh, the red uh, tea, not uh, green. Red tea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Australian people like milk tea. Oh, uh, yes. Here, here too. Too. Yeah. But when I was in Japan, I got a taste for green tea. So oh, by I got a know. taste. I mean, I I started to like. So when I first had it, I didn't like it, but I I got a taste, or I developed a taste for green tea. So at first, it tastes very bitter, but after you drink it a lot, you like the taste, and it's supposed to be healthy. Yes. But it keeps you awake. If you drink too much, you can't sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, so, don't try it. so yeah, in, in Australia, people drink alcohol. But you say in Saudi Arabia, like most people, never drink alcohol. Yes. So, do you think, like, do people sometimes drink it? Secretly? Secretly? Like they have, uh, like it's a secret, maybe they drink it but they don't tell anyone? 
Or right. they 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 never drink it. Maybe not yeah, well, there. so, yeah, when I read the Jetta food guide, it said, uh, like, soft drink is very popular these days. Soft drinks? Like lemonade. Uh, yeah, we have a lemonade, uh, but uh, here, the, uh, here, the fruits... Uh, they have they have another another name. Not uh, not all the the fruit same names like uh, same names like English. Ah, oh, not the same name as in English. So the the soft drink has another name. Maybe sometime. Not not all. Uh, maybe the lemon like uh, uh, here. Here the same name, uh, the same means. Lemon, okay. Lemon. Yeah. Uh, maybe only. I think I think all only only fruit. The name mm -hmm. uh, same, like in, uh, like English. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I want to try someday. So in Egypt, do you know if? Egypt is strict, like Saudi Arabia. What strict? Uh, so we were saying we were talking the other night that in Saudi Arabia, uh, you you cannot go out with your girlfriend outside. Uh, so in Egypt, I think it's different. Yes. Maybe the only country uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, but another country we can. You, uh, but in Saudi Arabia, no. Oh, Iran, maybe no as well. I don't know. Uh, so there, Shia. You were telling me yesterday, Shia. Yes. And, uh, yeah. But actually, that's interesting because in Australia, most people don't understand the difference. Uh, of course, uh, maybe sometimes here uh, uh, somebody uh, don't uh, don't have uh, don't have any idea mm. about them. Oh, some Saudi people don't know. Yeah, yeah, not, not. Okay, yeah. So yeah, but yeah, I, I looked at the map yesterday and I saw Jeddah is on the Red Sea. Yeah, in Red Sea. Across from Egypt. Egypt and Sudan. Okay, yeah. So I I went down that way on the Egyptian side. I think I went to Hergaba or Hergada. I got the ferry from Sinai Peninsula across to an Egyptian city, which was Hergada, or I'm not sure the name actually, but yeah, I went there, and then I got the uh bus to cairo i think yeah cairo cairo yeah have you been to cairo uh this is uh, uh maybe i don't have uh, idea uh capital yeah it's capital of yeah, very big city. Yeah, and uh, and there is uh, there are uh, many people. Uh, mm. And these days it has some um, trouble. Yeah. With the government, so might maybe it's not so safe to go to. But. Mm. Uh, 
I don't have uh, idea about Cairo. But ah, are there you? are uh, here in Saudi Arabia there are many Egypt men, mm-hmm. uh, teacher and, uh, in in uh, in uh, in the what in the in the school. private in the private uh, schools. Our oh, private school. So yeah. I heard a, a voice before you said that. Do you have a another device which pronounces the word? Another what? Uh, did you ha- do you have a small device which pronounces the word private in a woman's voice? Mm, I don't. Uh, know. Yeah. Uh, I could a woman say private just before you said private, but sounded like a computer talking. Wait. Like not a not a real woman, but maybe you have a device like a, a small computer. Uh no. Oh, maybe I I made a mistake. Yeah, sometimes there's an echo on the on the computer. Uh, echo like after you talk, I hear twice sometimes. Echo, yeah, like after you talk into the uh, wall and sound comes maybe. back. Yeah. I sometimes. Used, uh, that, that, yeah. And yeah, but that that's no problem because it's better than Skype, I think. Yes. <laughs> but sounds like other people are talking, but I think it's just an echo. Just what? Only an echo. Oh. But sounds like other people talking, but not true, not real. Okay. Yeah, but sorry to disturb you. So, yeah, we were talking about bitter, so bitter foods like black coffee and dark chocolate. And so I heard in Yemen people chew a nut, which maybe tastes bitter. So the the my cousin told me in Yemen or around that part of on the coast they put a a on oh, yeah, not yeah, enough yeah. but a leaf in their mouth and chew yeah yeah <laughs> but in Saudi Arabia that, this is uh, uh, like uh, like a hole like a hole eagle i mean illegal uh, in Saudi Arabia, do people chew this leaf as well? So I could write this down. Do people chew? So chew is like have to bite and bite. They don't uh, swallow, yeah. just chew. I know, I, I know, I know this, but in Saudi Arabia, uh, Maybe forbidden. Yes. Haram. Yes. Haram. Uh, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like the whole uh, the mind. It's off. <laughs> so it's a drug. Drug. Yeah. So a drug is something that changes your body or your body or mind so a drug could be medicine but it could be alcohol as well or uh, smoking cigarettes so it changes the body and after you have it once you want again and again addictive 
Uh, addictive. So if you have this uh, once, then you want again and again. Have to have again and again every day. Oh, okay, like okay. smoking. But in, so yeah, I was going to say maybe that leaf is bitter, so it doesn't taste good. And they have to spit the taste out because it tastes very bad. Yeah, I, I, could, I could write down, so it has uh, Taste. Uh, yes. Like medicine. Uh, I don't know. Um, um, don't try it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No. Well, I I don't like smoking either. So uh, I tried smoking, but I don't like the taste and uh, kind of a. Bitter taste, or yeah, smoking it makes me dizzy. My head spins around, uh -huh. and I feel sick. Like inside, I feel sick. So it's not good for the body. That's for sure. Of course, uh, maybe uh, after after many years. There's uh, uh, many uh, effects. It can make you sick in the future. Yeah. Yes. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you want to try the next one? So, do you understand bitter? So, bitter is, uh, yeah, bad. Taste yeah. or a bitter experience too. Bitter experience means feel bad. Uh, well, maybe a lot, a lot of people don't like yeah. a bitter taste. No, that's true. Yeah, but a little bit is good because coffee is bitter. Yes, I. I like a coffee and uh, uh, and uh, I don't put uh, sugar, a lot of sugar. Oh, you I don't put, put much sugar? Yeah. Or oh, you don't put a lot of sugar? Yeah, I mm. put a less. Okay, yeah. So if you put a lot of sugar in, it becomes sweet? Yeah, don't, uh, not better. Yeah, me too. Or have black coffee. So black coffee is no sugar or no milk. So in Saudi Arabia, do you drink milk? Because in India, milk is very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do? We have... Yes. We do is it? Uh, milk coffee, uh, milk uh, with uh, tea. Milk, okay. Al uh, uh, milk uh, alone. And is that from a cow? Uh, yes. Uh, there is. Uh, um, a liquid. A liquid. Yep. Yeah. So well, there is. Uh, um, is it? From another country. So imported means it comes from another country. Mm. Like Australia. We have milk in Australia. Yeah, uh, we, but, have, we have, but uh, the fresh milk, uh, we, uh, we take, or what? We taste uh, from the camel, no? Uh, from the camel. camel milk. Yeah. So my father, he tried camel chocolate in Dubai. 
caramel chocolate? Oh. <laughs> yeah, chocolate with the camel milk in UAE, Dubai. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, my mother and father went to Dubai on a cruise and they went through the Su uh, yeah, Suez Canal to Egypt. So they got a cruise, they went on a boat around the world from Australia oh. all the way back to Australia. <laughs> Very long trip. It took three months, I think. Wow, a long time. They went to many countries like India and America, France, uh, Dubai. They stopped in Dubai and they went past Aden. So is Aden in Yemen, maybe? Yes, yes, in Yemen. And so now they have trouble in Yemen. So near Aden, the rebels are going towards Aden. Aden uh, in, uh, in Arabic. Aden, Ain. Aden. Maybe. And it's the important place because the the sea it's very narrow. Oh. And many oh. ships have to go through to Europe. So if you go from India to Europe, you have to go that way through the canal. And so it's very important area. Oh, um, but, but uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Yemen there is, uh, there is many uh, there are many places uh, uh, Ah, archaeological areas. Yes. Okay, yeah, archaeological is, they have a lot of old, uh, like yeah. they dig into the ground and they find an old building or uh, city, something like Egypt, there are many archaeological yeah. areas. Yeah, yeah. I like, went to like some Egypt. in Egypt. Okay, yeah. Uh, but in Australia, there aren't any because there are no old buildings in Australia. Oh, yes, yes. But, so they, but, they don't have them here, but they, like, they, they look for old bones in Australia. Like from an animal or like the Aboriginal people lived in Australia, but they didn't build a building. Oh, they just like slept the... outside. Mm -hmm. So maybe like, uh, do you say the Bedouin? What? I, I saw in Egypt and Israel, the people, they, they ride a camel, but they sleep outside in the desert. Wait. Bedouin? Oh, uh, I might have spelled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in Saudi Arabia, the the person he uh, he he has a camel. We said yeah. uh, a Bedouin. So, do they live outside? They sleep uh, outside. Uh, uh, mm, yes. The, okay. But the uh, Aboriginal and, in Australia is different. And uh, the Bedouin, uh, he he's he's uh, he's lived in the tent. Okay, yeah, they have a tent. Yeah. But the uh, Aboriginal in Australia, they didn't have a tent. They slept on the ground, I think. Uh, no. But uh, I think they they were happy, maybe. But it's a hard life. But 
today they some people do that in Australia. Just they hunt for food, and they don't need money or anything like that. But uh, how? 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 How take it or how? Uh, they have to find food in the desert. But the desert in Australia, it's not like the Saudi desert. I think the desert in Australia, there are some trees there. Oh, no. no. And we some animals? Maybe uh, Saudi Arabia, camels and cow, maybe. Only, maybe. that's all. And oh, sand? Sheep. Only sand? And sheep. And sheep. Ah, really? Sheep. So you have sheep in Saudi Arabia too? Yes. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, so uh, is there some grass? So they need to eat grass? Or something, yeah, the sheep need something to eat? I don't know, but... Uh, uh... There, there are uh, sheep here. Okay, yeah. Well, in Australia, there are many sheep. And, uh, yeah, that, that's uh, number one uh, um, in Australia for farming. It's good. But so. here, sometimes it's good, uh, sometimes not good. So, we had sheep for dinner. But we don't call it sheep, but lamb. Yeah, we ate our lamb for in uh, tonight. So in Australia, we often eat lamb. So it's a uh, young sheep. Yeah, yeah. We we have, but tastes good, I think. Yeah. Uh... It's better than uh, uh, old sheep. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't have the old sheep. But do you eat the old sheep sometimes? Uh, I don't have... Uh, I, I don't have a good taste. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Not, not tasty. My taste uh, not good. But uh, my friend... He said this is good and this is not good. Uh, this is bitter and this is not bitter. That okay. Yeah. So uh, he know many kinds of uh, uh, many kinds of sheep, but I, I don't have a big idea about sheep and these things. So your friend, he knows many kinds of, yeah, well, lamb is what they're called, what we call it, but mutton is the old sheep. Mutton? Yeah, mutton. So Indian people like mutton. Mm, Indian, I don't. No, okay. yeah. So they don't eat beef in India. They don't eat cow because it's uh, a god yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah. They they say. Uh, but uh, Australia, we have hamburger is beef, and so yeah, hamburgers are popular in Australia, like America. Uh, yeah. So, do you want to try the next part of the exercise? So this one, it's bland. I don't think we did this one. So bland, uh, bland is no taste, what? or not not much taste. So bland is like when you have something that doesn't taste like anything. Right. So bland, bland f yeah, after bitter, bland. And so bland is 
no taste. Uh, so, for okay. example, rice, only rice, boiled white rice. It doesn't have much taste. There's a small taste, but it's not much taste. Or pasta with no sauce. Yeah, uh, with, with, without? Yeah, like spaghetti with no sauce. Just spaghetti. It's not tasty. Oh, uh, um. This is bland. Okay, if, uh, uh, if, if there uh, a sauce, sauce. What, uh, what, what, mm -hmm. uh, what it say, or what call it, it, what, call it, it, what color, uh, what what's the sauce called, yeah, for spaghetti, uh, bolognese, bolognese, is, uh, meat, yes, yeah, so spaghetti, I could write this down, spaghetti, Bolognese, and so I think in Italy the pasta name is first and sauce is after. So spaghetti bolognese is spaghetti noodles and bolognese sauce. And bolognese, it's uh, meatballs and tomato. And another one, uh, uh, spaghetti. Carbonara, but maybe you can't eat this one in Saudi Arabia because it has pork. Uh, this is maybe fair Pig. time. Uh, yeah. So bacon. Do you know bacon? Yeah, bacon. Yeah. So but in Saudi Arabia, you can't eat bacon, can you? Uh, no, but there, uh, there, there is a uh, cow bacon. Not. Ah, uh... oh, really? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is Italian food, so they, yeah, many kinds of spaghetti. So you can make any sauce you want to, even vegetarian, no meat. Or seafood sauce. So in Japan, they like spaghetti as well, and they make Japanese style spaghetti with seafood, not meat. I think the the noodles are the important part. What? I think the the noodles are the best part. Um. Please, so, uh, right. The, so the noodles are the, the base of the dish. So, for example, when you have sandwich, the bread is the base, and then you put something on top. But for spaghetti, the spaghetti is the carbohydrates, the energy. And then on top is something to make the spaghetti taste better because it has no taste by itself. So you can put anything on top if it tastes good. Oh. Even yes. uh, no meat. Yeah, many vegetarians eat spaghetti as well. And I like spaghetti. Spaghetti. Uh, Carbonara, it's very heavy, I think. Oh. So it's egg and bacon. Mm. So you you wouldn't eat it because bacon is haram. Yeah. So, but the or bacon, it's only you can take the bacon out. Just the egg oh. is okay. Uh, so, can you have, uh, like, uh, ha hamburger with cheese? Is that okay in Saudi Arabia? Can you... So, can you eat 
Uh, so, uh, a hamburger, a normal hamburger with cheese. So, in uh. Israel, they can't do it because it's they don't have. So the cheese is uh, cow's milk, and the hamburger is the cow's body. Yeah. And is that the same in Islam as well? Yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, maybe... Uh, mm, ten years? Uh, the the hamburger is uh, haram here in Saudi Arabia. Ten years ago, okay. Yeah. Uh, after that, the the restaurant uh, uh, make uh, make the make make the hamburger uh, uh, from cow cow meat. Mm-hmm. Uh, not bacon. Uh, bacon. Hmm. Ah. Okay. But a hamburger. I think it means from a cow. Ah. So ham. It means pork. But a real hamburger doesn't have pork. It's a bit strange. So ham is a kind of pork. My father likes. Ham. Ham. So when they say hamburger, it looks like it's pork burger, but actually oh. hamburger is beef. Oh. So the name is confusing. Maybe maybe here names, but <laughs> not ham. Not ham. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that, that so ham is special kind of pork. On oh. at Christmas time, we have ham. Oh. On Christmas Day, uh, I, I don't know why, but uh, Chinese people love pork. Asian people like Vietnam and China, they but, say pork uh, is the but, best food. But if you but if you don't uh, eat uh, the bacon, uh, yeah. Uh, if you if you try it, uh, you can eat. Uh, you you mean you can't stop? No. Uh, uh, you will stop because the uh, my friend uh, he is go uh, he is going to Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And and yep. uh, many Chinese there. Uh, he uh, uh, he go uh, he goes to to restaurants, but uh, and and eat uh, the hamburger. Uh, he uh, he thinks uh, he thinks the cow not big. He, yeah, he thinks uh, cow cow meat not pork. Yeah, well, I, I, that's true because the hamburger it's not and, pork. Uh, and uh, uh, after after uh, after try, he can continue the the sandwich. He said, uh, mm, uh, "The taste not good." Oh, okay. That's... He had pork, did he? He what? Did he eat pork? Yeah, uh, maybe... Uh, mm. It's strong taste. I think. Maybe bait, or what? Bite. Bite. He had a bite. Of it, yes, and it has a strong taste, I think. So I like lamb better. 
to be honest. Because pork, it it smells a bit strange sometimes. Oh. Like dirty. I, I, you say it's a dirty animal. Yeah, and sometimes it yeah, smells yeah. a bit dirty. Uh, yeah, and, and my friend... Uh, Forget what kind. Of, I see. Uh, uh yes, uh, it's heavy for. for uh, it's heavy. Heavy. Yes. That's, so yeah, it is a uh, heavy. Uh. Or heavy tasting yes, meat. Yes, heavy. Yes, yes. But in Japan, people don't like lamb because they said it smells bad. Oh. But I think they're not accustomed to the smell, or they're not accustomed to the taste, oh. because they don't have many sheep in Japan. Uh, they like fish, especially, and yes. pork as well, but fish is most popular because they live on the ocean. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, so I better finish now, but do you want to continue that exercise next time, or sh do you want me to send you another exercise, or...? Okay, but... Uh, oh, you... I will send... Uh... Uh, I will uh, talk with you in the chat because my young uncle uh, he uh, he's in international school yeah and uh, and he have a book mm -hmm. uh, if you if you can't uh, teaching him ah can you okay teaching yeah. Him or no? yeah I can yeah Okay, sure, yeah. uh, I maybe the sat uh, the Saturday he is uh, uh, he don't have uh, he doesn't have uh, school. I I will uh, I will uh, I will come. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, you'll send a message. Okay, and uh, to me? I, I'll send, yes. Okay, yeah. Well, it was good talking to you today, and I hope you enjoyed it today. Okay. And have a good day today after this lesson. It's uh, yeah. afternoon now. Uh, now it's very late, so I'd probably go to sleep soon. Okay. But good night. <laughs> thank you, and I'll talk to you again shortly. Thank you, and goodbye.